the first testifier. I will say, please, let's bring the first testifier. And keep checking yourself. Because the miracle power of God has been released. And you will never go back the same. Tell us your name and what God did for you. Praise God. Aninuya. Eke na dirichi neke. Makaki ha ajimbewe mu. Eshi mi mo obodo wo na nata. Kanji nata na enugu bi atukuno. Obuzugbo na etukuno ihe omo dikọ ihe nu jeru ma daye. Mu ya Jesus. Ozubonya Jesus, so che wata ke mu na no. Ni ha da na kwa mu na ya na ma kwa mi ha. Ma nchi na eke na agwo kwa mu. Ma shi te ke mbe ha, chi na eke na agwo kwa mu ezi oku ezi oku. Na Jesus Christ o ye wa ai. Amen. E ba mu da ye na oji. How long was the problem? How long when did it start and what happened? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. She said that her name is Dinah Oji. She came back from a journey to the village four years back and she was struck with stroke and also which affected the sight. But tonight, after the prayer of the man of God, she rose up and started walking, and also the sight had been restored. Jam your hand together for Jesus. Let's have the next person, please. The next testifier. Praise the Lord! I'm so excited. I feel like crying out for joy. Praise the Lord! My name is Obona Mercy. I'm from Nkan region, DLCF Esut. It all started in January when I resumed school. I noticed that I couldn't breathe well and uh, I had this pain at the left side of my stomach. I couldn't eat everything because anytime I eat something that my system does not accept, I end up, it ends up paining my stomach. So I, I came here yesterday after the rain fell. The cold was so much on me. Before then, I went to the hospital. They said, they said it was anxiety disorder, gastritis, and so many other things. Although I rejected it, I called my pastor. My pastor prayed for me. Since then, I've, I still have this, this feeling of pain and all that. Sometimes I end up collapsing. My head is so heavy. My knees feeble. I can't walk. I walk small and my head is heavy. My knees feeble. I begin to shake. This evening, yesterday when I came here, after the rain fell, I couldn't breathe properly. I'm, I couldn't even sleep yesterday night. I would close my eyes and I would open it because I was scared that I would just die from my sleep because I wasn't breathing well. Just this evening, I was complaining to somebody. I told her, I'm, I'm shivering. My, my chest is spinning me. I'm feeling this, this trouble in my stomach. And then she was encouraging me. This evening, when I was standing at home, supreme for others, trying to bring them out, the Lord touched me. The Lord touched me and He healed me. Praise the Lord! Put your hand together for Jesus. As you are listening to the testimony, be examining yourself. And as you discover your own miracle, please come to all seven. The next testifier from here, please, before we go to 
our online brethren. Praise the Lord. My name is Ngozi Naman. I came in here today with heavy load in my heart and heavy load on my shoulder here. Physically, practically, it was too painful for me on this shoulder and it extended to this part of my body. For decades, I've been having high BP. So I was surprised this evening, deciding to come to this crusade. The thing came up. And I was a kind of afraid because I didn't come with my medication. But instantly, as he was praying, the whole thing vanished. Even the weight in my, my whole being vanished. The problems I have inside of me so many years because of attacks, they all vanish, and there's no fear, there's hope. Praise the Lord. Jam your hand together for Jesus. Is that jamming your hand? Amen. Now we go to the online brethren while we're getting ready more testimony here. Come, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Come, come, that's it. Come, come, that's it. Come, 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 that's it. Yes. not been able to walk since that time without the support of this uh, worker. And she had been dwelling in serious pain for the past four years. But today, as the man of God prayed, the power of God struck her, and for the first time, she got out of this worker and walked down by herself. Walking, 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 she are walking. See her working for four years, for four years, for four years. And there you have it, great things happening at the ministration of the great man of God. My miracle is here. What are you doing? Praise the Lord, you've got it in Jesus' name. Inviting you to this divine touch for total freedom crusade starting on 26th until to 31st. And I'm telling you, it's power packed. The man of God, Pastor Dr. Dobwekui, is already in town. And I want to tell you if you come, the Lord will visit there. It's a miracle with your name attached. This is not just a program, this will be an experience for you and all the members of your family. Anywhere you are, standing, sitting, your miracle will catch up with you. Today, testimony in your mouth. Those online, I rejoice with you. Testimony will meet you right there. you just watched is right now on Pastor W.F. Kumui's Facebook page. Listen to this. Someone somewhere is crying. Someone somewhere is dying. Why would you let them die? Send them this clip now. Help someone out of the dungeon of despair. Hear this alone. Spread it to your family and friends. Tell someone to tell someone. This way, everyone will be liberated. This crusade is ongoing till the 31st of August. And all must be set free. Divine touch for total freedom with 
and international gospel evangelist, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumi, ministry alongside an international gospel artist, Dan Moe. Let everyone be set free. We now go back to testimonies. From the online, we have the following testimonies. Roland Eiva, based in Italy, gave his life to Jesus Christ and wrote, I am happy. There is peace. I have met Jesus as my personal savior. Also, he wrote, I was diagnosed of subacute appendicitis last week, Tuesday, 17th of August, precisely. I was in pain all through, but by the grace of God, after the prayers of the man of God, all the pains disappeared. And he wrote, I am now totally delivered. Appendicitis is gone. Also, from Nigeria, North East Nigeria, Adamawa State, the testimony says, I got my genuine salvation experience at the signs and wonders to say I was healed of a chest pain of three weeks. Today, I got a feeling that I have been delivered also from every power of pornography and masturbation. God bless daddy. I am happy. We now return to the state of us here. Amen. Now we want to continue with our testimony, please. The next testifier, please. The next person. I'm telling you, as you are listening to the testimony, be examining yourself because the power of God has been released and you are free. The next person, please. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is David Celeste. I'm from Taraba State. I was having some pain in my chest and heart for two years. So after the man of God prayed for me, the pain is gone. Praise the Lord. Let's listen to another testifier, please. Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Obina Odo. By the grace of God, I'm saved. Last week, I wake up, and uh, as I wake up from the sleep, I begin to have very severe pain in my neck. I don't know the cause, but I refuse to take drugs. And not only that, because of the nature of my work, body pains all over my body. But tonight, as the man of God was preaching, I'm having the pain. But immediately after the prayer, and he said, check up yourself, check up yourself. Before I knew it, both the neck pain and the body pain, everything vanished away. Praise the living God. Put your hand together for Jesus. Amen. If you have testimony, please don't hide it. Let's hear it from you, please. Go to Hall 7 now. Have any testimony? What God has done for you? Rise up, come to hall number seven because the power of God has been released. Keep checking yourself. Your testimony is there. Let's listen to another testifier. Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Onwe Fine. I am from Amagonara in Kano region, Enugu State. I want to testify of what God did to me during the last uh, Signs and Wonders Crusade at Calabar. But I've been passing through a hair challenge for about 13 years, which I could not explain until last year, 2020, when the situation became worse, that I could not urinate freely, except with pens, and the spending up to seven, eight minutes before I could, couldn't finish uh, urinating once. So I have to 
go to hospital. After the diagnosis, they told me that they discovered that I had post I say post from where? I don't know. They gave me medication. I came back. After taking that one, I went back again. They said the thing is still there. I say, God, I know you are my healer. But on the 21st of July, last uh, uh, when the Signs and Wonders Crusade was to start on the 22nd, I woke up in the morning to go and urinate. I could not urinate again. I was passing through pens from my head to my toe. I said, God, I'm in your hand. Then, come tomorrow, being Thursday, the 22nd, the first day of the Signs and Wonders Crusade, I told God, I need these Signs and Wonders. You must heal me of this problem. I don't know where this problem came from. So after the program that night, we went home, waking up Friday morning. Nothing happened. I was to come to Enugu that day. I boarded the vehicle. So we're on the way. I feel like urinating. I, said, I started asking God, how will I do it? Because I know it's a battle. But I summoned up courage. I jumped out. I went to urinate. Lo and behold, the whole thing just as if a tap was opened. I urinated out a stone out of my manhood. You will understand. That's how God healed me. No pain, no staying long in urination again, no symptom again. As I'm standing here, I am standing perfectly okay. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus. And your miracle shall be permanent. Please, you have testimony. Check yourself. God has taught you. Come and give glory to God. You come over here. We are still taking testimony. Every test, you know, whatever God has done for you, come over here. But meanwhile, we take testimony from the online. Please, if we have them. Online, we have some testimonies. This one is coming all the way from Ikenadani. He says, I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. I'm also thanking God for healing me tonight. I had ulcer and different kinds of sicknesses. But after the prayer of the man of God tonight, ulcer has gone away and all sicknesses are also gone. Praise the Lord. Another testimony. This one is from Ghana. He says, my name is Nana Abena Obeng from Ghana. I'm watching this wonderful crusade all the way on YouTube. For some time now, my mom has been having chest pains, which led to difficulty in breathing. But after the ministration of our Father in the Lord tonight, every chest pain and difficulty in building also disappeared. Put Praise your hands together Lord. for Jesus. We have a live testimony now from Worry Delta States. Worry Delta States coming up live. States. Delta. Stinks. Delta. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I woke up strong. We now return to some other testimonies coming from online. This one particularly talks about complete freedom from sin. Many people on YouTube wrote, I am blessed tonight. I am free from sin. Somebody also wrote 
on YouTube and said, Tonight, I have lifted my mother up to God for his mercy. After the prayers of the man of God, I called my mother and I found out that she is completely free. Praise the Lord. And finally, before we return, A.C. Florence, also on YouTube, wrote, This is the best moment of my life because tonight I gave Jesus a chance in my heart and I now have peace. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus. Edema. 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 Sing, sing, sing. Edema. Onyene mema edema. Amen. We take more testimony today. And as they are giving their testimony, you discover your miracle. Please come to front of all seven. So they will be given opportunity to share your testimony with us tonight. Let's listen to the next testifier. Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Achuku John. I so much thank God for his goodness in my life and my family. And by his grace of God, I'm safe. I stand before you to testify God's goodness. Uh, I'm coming from uh, Udi region. So it was last crusade, signs and wonder for the needy. I carried my family and we were going for the program. And Okada double crossed us within a close range of which I apply break, but to no avail, I have to hit the man, and we fell. In the falling, apart from other bruises that I got and my wife, uh, my first daughter, nothing happened to her. Apart from that, my, my two months old baby hit the head somewhere of which I don't know. And uh, we, we now uh, drove to the church. That's one of our members that came and take us to the church. When we get down to the church, uh, we reported the matter to uh, Aru'u, Pastor Sylvester Odemene. And uh, he prayed for us and sent us to Park Lane for a checkup. So we went there at Park Lane. Our GS has preached already in the program. So my pastor now connected us when Jesus wants to pray for miracle in the program. So my pastor connected us through phone. He said I should lay my hand on the head of that my little baby where she was having the problem. I lay my hand on and Jesus was praying. And after the prayer, my brethren, the swelling up diminished. Praise the Lord. And after the diminution of that swelling up, we went for the scan. And the result was that nothing happened to my baby. Praise the Lord. Our Lord is good. Put your hands together for Jesus. Please come to Hall 7. Those who have testimony, please direct her to Hall 7. We listen to the next testifier, please. Praise the Lord. Children of God, praise Master Jesus. My name is Sister Peace and Yoma Chukunonsu. I'm here to stand to thank God for his mercy upon my life. I want to thank God first for the salvation of my soul. I want to thank him of how he delivered me of a serious attack from the kingdom of darkness. It happened that there's a, 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 I started a evangelism, particularly morning cry. And there's this particular place I do go to the morning cry in a T-junction. So after morning cry on that very day, I went home and they sent back an attack. 
It came in form of insanity. I began, I started acting abnormal. I started talking to myself. This thing that happened to me is not something I will be able to stand here to begin to narrate all the stories. I was taken to the hospital. They, they were thinking on whether to put me in a psychiatric. Each time they just hear them say that I begin to rebuke. They even gave me sleeping tablets that I took and I point and said, God, if I'm serving a living God, why would I be drugging myself for me to be able to sleep? I just keep praying and my, my sister that was taking care of me, she was praying as well. But to the glory of God, during the, uh, the, the crusade at Abuja Divine Connection, it was there because once it come like this, what it, uh, the message is just, let me just see the face of our general superintendent. And it was when I saw his face through his message, there was a calmness in my brain. And brethren, I stand here to testify to the goodness of God that as I am now, I am whole and I'm perfect. Praise Master Jesus. Jam your hand together for Jesus. The problem of the brain, gone. And she's now sound. And you can hear her speak soundly. The next testifier, please. You have, just keep checking up. You describe your own miracle. Come to hall number seven. Please interview them and line them up. Please let them go straight to the testimony. The next person, please. Afambo Atime Leticia Atimo Binago de Pepa Testimon Embo Atritis Nebumni Pelea Nabo Adama Gamuja without Oshisi Ozik and Dagaita since all over three years now. That's the most severe part of the Nebent to Kuleba. Where a better chapel, Major Yanine, where is that open? Get check your own way. Came Alum, mean what I go, testimony. Where check your own way, where for a man, what I give. Yeah, So, a general voice is ya. Or the number they back, and probably I will look on Bada Taweba. Praise the Lord! Jam your hand together for Jesus! Amen! She had a try, she suffered arthritis for more than three years and cannot move without a walking stick. But after the prayer of the man of God tonight, he dropped the walking stick outside and he walked down from outside to this place and you can see her walking. You can see her walking. Jam your hand together for Jesus. Praise the Lord. My name is Brother John Madukosri. I'm from Alumini DC Church in Enugu Group of Geneva Region. In the last crusade he had at Canaba, on 25th of that crusade, I slept in the night. A vigilante was telling me that a new pancreas had been given to me. In 2008, I was diagnosed to be diabetic. And since then, I have been on the medication. But when I woke up in the morning, I discovered that I did not urinate as I used to urinate that night. And since then, I've been watching to know whether the sign of diabetes will continue. I have not been seeing it. 
So 13 years of diabetes was taken away for me in that sense I wonder to say. Put your not hand together that, for Jesus. Not only that, in 1990, I discovered that whenever I go to the toilet, the part of my annuals was becoming out. And I continue praying about it. So I asked Dr. what it this? Is it pie? He said it is called anapronax. So I also witnessed that since after that 25th night, as I go to toilet, I have not been seeing that sign again. And totally, in 1995, I started having toothache. There are holes here and there in my tooth. Then I have extracted some teeth out of my mouth. But whenever I'm eating, I will be having pain. But since I that, that science I wonder to say, I can chew anything I like to chew. No more pain in my mouth. Praise the Lord. If God had located me in the remote village where I view this to say, I believe for you that are present here. God also will locate you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. What God has done for him, he will do for you. Look at it. 13 years diabetes taken away during the signs and wonders crusade. Since 1990, he was having fire. 31 years after the prayer on 25th of July, he says since then he have not seen it again. And also toothache was taken away and your problem has been taken away. Is that your amen? Let us listen to the last testimony here. But if you have testimony, please still join them. We still want to have your testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Okonkwa Marvelous Chidzebubi. I want to testify, by the grace of God, I'm born again. I want to testify concerning the goodness of God concerning my life. In fact, in this crusade, signs and wonders crusade, I've been going through thoughts, the negative thoughts that I've been, that I've been, I've been battling with. If I want to think positively, the thoughts which try to suppress the positive, the negative thoughts which try to suppress the, the positive thoughts in my mind, like now, the thought will just arise. Your mother will die. I will say, Satan, shut up. Another one, it will just be arising, just disturbing me. So it comes to a point whereby I've been praying over it. And so I've been giving prayer requests concerning my life. And I cannot sleep without taking drugs. So I usually go for checkup. By from 2013 to this year, I've been going for checkup. So in this signs and wonders we say, I decided in this, I mean at this in August, I decided not to be taking those drugs again. So after everything, I discovered that all those thoughts and this negative aspect of not sleeping have all they have all gone away. Praise the Lord. Is that your crappy? God is not a man, neither the son of man. He will never change, neither will he repent.
sing now. Amen. What God has done for you shall be permanent. I don't know if there is a testimony from the online yes, sir. audience. Have, before yes, we... sir. We have some testimonies. We'll take some red and then we'll go to Ogun State for a live testimony. We have this testimony coming all the way from the social, from Facebook precisely. It's coming from Amuson Olua Tosin from Ogumosho in Oyo State. She testified about two months back being disappeared after the prayer of the man of God. She also said she has been having this migraine headache. But during the ministration of Don Moen, she felt a sensation and the headache disappeared. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have this one from Zoom. This person says, I've been having pain on my hips since yesterday, but it became worse. After I woke up this morning, when the GS said we should place one hand on our body while the prayer was, was on right now, I was healed and the pain is no longer there. Praise the Lord. This one is coming from social media as well. It said, I have been having a severe pain at my back and stomach. But as the prayer was going on, I was relieved of the pain. The pain went away completely. Praise the Lord. Jam your hands now. We now go to Ogun State for a testimony. Ogun State Live. <laughs> she testified that she had a broken bone in her legs and that she used to be carried up and down but by the ministration of the man of God, God touched her. And as you saw, the broken bone has been amended by heaven. Now she is walking. She was standing without the help of the aid she used previously. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What God has done for you, shall remain permanent. How many of you were blessed? You receive your meaning.